Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can um, fix e app error code in 14, 16, 12 fix. So uh, the first thing what you need to do here, uh, basically install Microsoft Visual uh, C++. So uh, Windows applications are running uh, using Windows Visual C++. So uh, if the Microsoft Visual uh, C++ is uh, not installed or corrupted in the Windows operating system, you may encounter many error codes, uh, this one as well. So what you need to do here, you need to look for a, a framework 4.8 or other version here and install it to your computer. So I'll restart this uh, web browser here. And as you can see here, it's installed and then you need to, uh, as you can see here, installed, uh, install uh, uh, VC Redist uh, AX86 and X64 versions here as well. So I will leave the link in the description below so you can easily access. So, and after that, you just need to open up the setup here, as you can see here. And uh, we need to wait. And probably my mine, as you can see here, I already uh, installed uh, latest updates here. And on Redist 1 here, as you can see here, I already installed. But if you have the same issue here, you can press repair here. And also this one, as you can see here, you can install it. And once you, uh, what you need to do here next after you install, all the apps here is to restart your computer and you need to look if the problem persists or not and if the problem persists then another thing that you can do here is to run uh, your uh, ea app installer as an administrator and to do so uh, locate your uh, app installer here then you need to go to properties compatibility and then you just need to press run this uh, administrator press apply okay and then you need to look if the problem persists or not and if the problem persists, then another step that you need to do here is to turn off any uh, antivirus system that you third party basically program that you're using, Avast, Kaspersky, McAfee, uh, whatever, you just need to turn that off completely. And after you do so, then another thing that you need to do here is to go to virus and threat protection here. And then you need to, uh, under the virus and threat protection settings, uh, press on manage settings here then turn off this real-time protection here and then you need to scroll down until you see controlled folder access here and turn that off as well and on um, exclusions uh, press add or uh, remove exclusion here press yes add exclusion and then you need to press file and then go to uh, the app installer that you have here and then press open and then you just need to try Again, and you need to look if the problem persists or not. And the problem, if the problem persists, then uh, another thing that you need to do here is to change your DNS server addresses. So on the bottom right corner, on your system tray, you should see your network internet access. Right click on it, go to network and internet settings, go to advanced uh, network settings, and then you need to go to more network adapter options. And once you're here, then right click on it, go to properties, and make sure that this one is turned off and then look for internet Pro uh, protocol version 4 and uh, press use the following dns server addresses here and then just write 8.8.8.8 .8 and, on, and on alternate dns server write 8.8.4.4 press apply okay and once you do that then uh, the last thing that you need to do here is to uh, open up your command prompt or cmd uh, right click and go to run as administrator press yes and on this line just write ip uh, ip config slash dns and you should get this message and i forgot that you need to turn off windows defender as well so to do so you just need to write windows defender firewall and then press turn windows defender firewall on or off and then turn that off here, press apply. And you need to look if the problem persists or not, but if you apply these uh, fixes, the problem should be fixed. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care, bye.